May we request everybody to turn on the lights of your phones. Come on, guys, turn on your lights. Lights off now. Lights on. Lights on. Okay, now presenting the starting lineup of the Kurashiki Ablaze. Number three, team captain Kiyoka Oshima. Number 10, Yukino Yano. Number 11, Akane Hiraoka. Number 13, Miho Kawamura. Butch, butch. Number 15, Asaka Tamaru. Number 16, Saki Tanabe. The head coach of the Kirish Kurashika Blaze, Coach Hideo Suzuki. Now for the starting lineup of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. We have team captain number two, Eliza Bolden. Number 
six, Jeanette Panaka. They're starting the barrel number 11, Kyla Chensa. Number 12, Gia de Guzman. Number 18, Tom Carlo. And number 23, Gemma. of the Green Lake Cool Smashers, Coach Shurin Manasseh. This match is under the regulation and supervision of the Games and Amusement Board. Big whale, bad day, they came to the Philippines, and their intention is to win to get to the finals, and they continue to battle green light toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBLs via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. And after an elaborate introduction, the highlight of which was that awkward moment with Coach Sherwin Menezes. <laughs> we get to the game. The winner take all match between the Green Line Cool Smashers, the defending champions, and our visitors, who, by the way, Neil, have really endeared themselves to the PVL crowd. They were actually teary-eyed in the introduction. I'm sure they feel overwhelmed with the support of the Filipino fans, but they are eager to compete against the Cool Smashers to get that gold. And the finals is underway. Carlos. Defending champions. Two straight points.
And a good serve by Deloy. Shaky start for Karashi Kia Blaze. But they gotta feel some nerves, Neil. Definitely. Sure. It will all boil down to three words. Accuracy, precision, and quality. Whoever turns out these uh, three characteristics will eventually get the gold here in the Invitational Conference. Big pass to the other side. Gia, back to Fox, single block. That's on the bounce out. Hot start for the Cool Smashers. Again, they only lost one game in this entire conference. And that was against uh, the same team they're facing right now. Thoughts Carlos really looking forward to amping up her efficiency. And she has been incredible this whole conference. As Sara Tamaro, as Neil mentioned, almost 23 points a game. Una, una, claro pa lang Neil. Nagpakita ng gilas sa kaga to that 29 point output. She was not, and she is not holding back. And even in that last game, she did not hold back with a 19 point performance. Now you can see a lot of fast plays coming from Gia de Guzman, that fast slide attack for Pax Panaga. He shoots sets to the left and the right wing. Everything working right now for the Cool Smashers. But uh, they really have to play it clean because they're facing a team that is very disciplined when it comes to that category. And a very simple looking play, but it is very effective. And that is a trademark of Japan or Japanese volleyball. 4 2 is our score. Let's go to Alexis Tensai. Go ahead. Boom and Neil Karashki of Blaze. Coach, Coach Hideo Suzuki is so excited with the roaring fans of Philippine volleyball. She actually said that Creveline Cool Smashers are really, really strong, adding to the fact that they do indeed have home court advantage. So, guess what he did today? He rented out drums to plays for the final game on the other side of the court I got to talk to coach Sherwin Meneses and he said manalo matalo man mataas lagi ang moral ng Creamline Cool Smashers given their loss against Karashki last Friday coach Sherwin believes babawi sila ng big time today as they got to study every tendency and gameplay of Team Japan for that two hour game now let's watch these two teams make the best app out of our finals game and with that the Filipinas live app is here to elevate this match even more download and subscribe for only 99 pesos per month. Now let's return to the panel and keep the game spirit flying high. Sorry, Alexis, we did not hear the tail end of that report because the crowd going crazy off that service ace of Kaloy. So now it is 6 2. Good block. Seth Domingo ran it well. Says you shall not pass. Looks like Dreamline really studied their previous game against Kurashiki Ablaze. They're setting up their defense well. They're getting a lot of clean hits in. And Todd Carlos has been se serving heavily on that line. Better reception and a better response there. Three, seven will be the score. Quick two-point production from the middle blocker of Kurashiki. One from that power tip, this time from an ad-lib back quick play. Miho Kawamura. Responsible as well as is checked. Back set, sorry, pipe set. Open. Eight-three, three line, off to an explosive start.
Bingo Plus is the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Guy Soto is in the house. Fifi Sharma in attendance. And this mammoth crowd at the Bill Sports Arena, which is ready to explode here in the opening minutes of this first set, and a giveaway to Creamline right now. And you know, that is a Marco Sin. Three balls. Everybody getting their touches right now. Immediate combination play right off the bat for Gia de Guzman. You can feel the home court advantage of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Quality of the passing of the Japanese team uh, taking a dip right now. Chabini, Alexis Canina, you know, that Coach uh, Hideo hired people drum section for them and it's right <laughs> behind us Neil just to kind of offset you know the crowd and the drum section of the Green Line Cool Smashers so they have one for the Ablaze team today as Kalatsa gives them a six point lead that was the same play middle blocker still a bit late for Karashiki Ablaze Gemma Galanza back to back points there everybody again uh, getting uh, clean hit for the Cool Smashers. 10-4. We always say, Neil, the finals, the championship game is always a different yeah. monster. Especially if you're coming off a game that really was a no-bearing game. It's really not an indication of anything. It's more of those two teams scouting each other, basically. That's off the antenna after the block, which means green line point. The third point of Gemma Galaza, and uh, she will have Creamline establish this a huge seven point lead against Kurashiki Ablaze. Averaging 15 or 16 points a game is Gemma Galanza quietly just there giving you 16 points a match in this invitational. That's a very nervous start by Kurashiki Ablaze. And they have not settled down yet, and Cream Line is taking advantage. chance to crack but this time Banaga comes up short on that attempt an error but that error gives a point to Japan oh look at that the crowd cheering go go Japan that's just the warm hospitality of the Filipino fans still alive but a chance ball for the defending champs. Chama puts it away. <laughs> Gemma Galanza hitting it hard. Between uh, the established blockers of Kurashiki Blaze. They saw it coming, but they weren't able to tighten up their blocking pattern. Four points uh, for Jess Gemma Galanza. Jessica Margaret saying, nice one. Yeah, we concur. 13-5. Make that 13-6. Well, what, what does the Ablaze have to do here? Neil, we've already obviously mentioned that there's some nerves. Well, what do they, how do they 
approach something like this? Well, initially, parang they were fading dun sa background with all of the noise here in uh, the venue, but they have to shut it all out, get their fundamentals back. Because mm. as I said in the pregame, in terms of the basics, wala problema sa Japan. Eh. They can really defend well. They can uh, uh, frustrate their opponents with their pesky floor defense and net defense. But right now, it has been all a cream line in the opening frame. For a time, I believe we don't, we didn't have the challenge system, Neil. Just to update people, for a time we didn't have the challenge system, but now it is back. So we are playing with the challenge system now. Jealous sends that way out for the seventh point of Kurashiki. Still forgivable for the Bulls Packers. They have a seventh point cushion. I don't know about you, but if you hear Go Japan repeatedly, that's a nice way to shake yeah. off some nerves if you're Kurashiki. Ooh. Let's give that point to that one-handed set of Gia de Guzman. Nobody home for Kurashiki of Lays. It's so nice. We gotta check it twice. Look at that. That's unbothered. She's been outplaying Oshima Kyoka. So far here in the first frame. Gia, you mean, yeah. Right in the middle, campfire. And even the pitch of uh, Japan now. Look at them enjoying themselves. Koshima Kiyoka enjoying the cheer. That should settle the nerves. Give them a little bit of uh, confidence going into the midway point of this first set. Straight points. Rashkia plays has been uh, scoring the uh, middle portion of backward defense of Team Line Pool Smashers. A lot of power tips getting the job done for basic, the Japanese team. Basic, basic lang, yeah. sabi mo nga, they're very disciplined, they're very basic, and they're very defensive too. But they need some offense. Counter offense here. Good coverage by Gia. Oh, the explosive swing by Asaka Tamaru. Tamaru against a single block coverage definitely will not be enough to, to stop the top scorer of Kurashiki Blaze. 23 points a game. Angelica Panganiban, a lot of celebrities really in the house to support our local and foreign team. 16-10 is our score. We will be back.
watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, Ticketnet, or philippines-ticketing.worldcup.basketball. Over 8,000 enjoying uh, on a Sunday evening. An attack error. Tomato guilty of that one. She's not, her, she's not her smiling self yeah. today, Neil. She, she must be experiencing a little bit of uh, jitters. Well, they have been committing a lot of miscues on different departments. Oh, that's great. They're still able to counter that sucky Tainabe. Early substitution for Kurashiki plays Momoka, the service specialist, yep. defensive specialist. Coming in for Asaka Tamaru. Gemma with the first ball. They're able to set it. It's on the other side now. Eliza repositions. Oshima. Still alive. Oshima will go again. It's set back. Dreamline point. Yano unable to go through the fortress of Dreamline at the net. There have been situations where in Kurashige of Blaze uh, get their defense down, but there are times that they hit up until they convert their attacks into points. And Oshima has been so working so hard here. Inside the push again. That has been the vulnerable yeah. spot for Dreamline. The same spot for Rashika plays. Uh, the donut hole unaddressed by the cool smashers. Just the right push there by Saki Tanabe. And it was a high ball. Miho Kawamura. To Gemma. Chance to counter for the Ablaze. Oh, what a slide by Kaila Kenza. That looks like a check. There was a check ball. And Saki admits to coach Hideo Suzuki because Hideo was about, he was about to challenge, but Saki told her, told him rather. Nakuha talaga. Yes, there was a check ball. Bernadette Pons coming in early for coach Sherwin Meneses. Played extensively in that Friday match. Bernadette Pons scored nine points on Friday. Replacing San Domingo, who did not play, by the way, in that Friday match. I heard that she was feeling under the weather in the match. Nayon. She wasn't able to attend training. That was the reason why Lisa Sato was the starter there. Galanza. Try to go for the swipe. Another ad lib play here. Gia will go back to Valdez. Doug. Sakitna. Very good attack by Akane Hiroka. Hitler position. By the way, this lead is down. This was an eight earlier. That was the biggest lead. So Japan has settled down, cut in the, into this lead a bit. Down to five. Trying to make a run here. Thoughts from behind. The most consistent opposite hitter. When you talk about uh, these D balls, just see her just fly in and smack that ball. With a no blocker inside once oh. again. No chance. Oh, she knew it. Had a good idea. But she scraped the net on the way down. Error 
Myers just tying up for crashing a blaze. She was too close to the net. Talking about the Japanese team, they only dropped three sets in total. Correct. There's a five world. games that they won in the semifinals. Another broken play there for Kurashiki. Another chance here. Thoughts again! Six big points by the three-time MVP! I think he heard us during the pregame. <laughs> Efficiency right now for Thoughts Carlos. Like dip bang ako. Like dip bang lalo. Gia delivers. Six point lead. That's a quick one by Sayaka Danida. And now, Asaka Tamaru will come back in the front line of Team Kurashigi. She has only scored uh, two points so far here in this first frame. So Kip, pump set. Three points now for her. If they do want to win the gold medal here in the PBL, Gilangan makuha niya rin yung average niya, or even more again. She already scored 30 points in uh, a single game. Yeah, and Greenlight knows that. They know that she's the one Sometimes uh, yun din yung nagiging game plan eh. You lock down on all of the other scorers. Let the top scorers score. Kasi mangyayari talaga yun. Makahanap ng paraan to get past the defense of the cool smashers. But when that frustration kicks in, uh, sa kanya lang nanggagaling yung puntos, that will eventually make a dent sa Kurashiki a play. This is a great serve. Right at the corner, dropping. Five-point lead. to the rafters there is uh, there is not a single seat untaken here at the Phil Sports Arena um, signal HD spikers Rachel and Dakis in attendance and uh, of course waiting for our awarding ceremonies where they will formally receive their bronze medals thoughts Chance to counter. You know they're gonna go to her. That's also the reason why Greenlight put two blockers on her right away. They have been reading uh, the setting of Oshima Kyonka so far. That's why they're able to organize their blocking. Not a lot of gaps. It's a net defense on Greenlight so far. Smart play by Akane Hiroka. Akane just utilizing her speed of that power tip. The undefeated Kurashiki Ablaze have been also through a grueling schedule then, Neil, all throughout the semifinals. Playing the last game now. A chance to go closer here. Another block on her. They return. To Asaka as Creamline returns to Thoughts. A net touch is what they're going to call on Oshima Kyoka. I think the first referee said that there was a net touch. And Eliza wants to, they're going to challenge this. Eliza trying to signal and gesture the net touch to uh,
Okay, they're talking there at the middle of the net. I know you, we don't get this on TV right now, but yeah. that's what Chia, Lysa, and uh, Kyoka are chatting about. Well, that's already done, but they were chatting. Just basing it on uh, their body language, right. I think Oshima was explaining that uh, the ball dropped first you before know, that's she what hit I thought. the net. That's what I thought. But again, there is that language barrier here. So the first referee will be discussing things with the second referee to make sure that they make the right call. Belinda Yosebio being our second referee, Jocelyn Del Rosario our first. So they are going to challenge, cream line is. So they reversed the call. Yeah. Jocelyn Del Rosario awarded the point to Team Japan. Maybe agreeing with the point that the ball dropped already before the net touch. Now, cream line is challenging that call. And we will review. Ano na una? Okay, so we'll settle that. Crucial point, obviously. Erlindo Eusebio and Sherwin Meneses having a chat. So we'll see. Ball drop. It was a foot fault, pero nauna yung bola. So there but that's will, not even the yeah. challenge. The challenge is a net touch, right? That is correct. The point will be going to crash the players. I'm happy that they're able to settle that, you know, despite the language barrier. And the play is on. No, play goes on. 18, you're serving 23. Buti na lang, bumalik din yung challenge system natin just in time. Big pass. from her injury, so I'm sure she is a very eager to help her squad as well. 14.25 points here in the semifinals. Five straight double figures after she scored three and four. She has been on fire. She only scored seven no Friday dahil di rin siya masyado. But the girl na hindi naglaro nung Viernes, si Seb Domingo has scored five big today for the six-point win in set number one. Cream Line get their noses ahead in this defense of their title.
New streaming experiences also await via the PV Penis Live app. Download the, and subscribe for as low as 99 pesos a month. 39 minutes was played in that set number one, 25-19. We had an eight-point lead. That was the biggest early on. And Greenline took advantage of the jittery start of uh, team Kurashikiya Blaze. Definitely a slow start for Kurashikiya Blaze. They were having difficulties in getting that ball to their setter. And as for Creamline, they had a field day talaga when it comes to setting their fast offense. But Carlos, her usual self, Gemma Galanza also contributing the points. And uh, I guess one of the biggest differences also for Creamline was uh, Set Domingo's um, insertion here in this game. She didn't play last time, I guess. Hindi rin siya na scout. Hindi rin na pag-aralan masyado. So that can be one of their keys to victory today. Five points right away for, by the way, the finals MVP of the last Invitational against uh, the team from Taiwan, uh, King yeah. Wales. Both teams had the same attack points, but look at the defense of Creamline. Oh. Four block points, and they have this habit na pag crucial or finals match, dun lumalabas <laughs> yung defense nila. And uh, this is a pleasant surprise. Right. Only three unforced errors for the Cool Smashers. Kyla Atienza also starting off really strong, right. getting her groove. So second set, and they should uh, they should be right now. They're going to award the point to Cream Line, but there's going to be a challenge here in Japan. They should uh, settle down already here in the second set. A block touch challenge for our visitors from Japan who have not experienced a loss this whole time that they were here. The games have they, they played five games in seven days. The Kurashiki ablaze and have been a stellar from the start. They started, of course, this campaign against King Bakbakni. Yes, yes, there was a check ball on the left finger finger of Bakbakni. Watching this bench from Japan. <laughs> One zero for the Ablaze. And a chance to counter here. Asaka Inunahan. Inunahan, you block her done. Neil. She's finally, uh, she's finally heating up here in the second set. Mabinis. Getting back to back points for Karashiki Ablaze. Five points for her now. Action also right. for Saka. Well, that's what the good ones and great ones do. They they make their adjustments along the way. Running gun. Thanks, Panaka. Who, by the way, average 6.25 here in the semifinals or going into the finals from the semifinals. Jede Guzman just isolating all of the blockers of Kurashkia Blaze. There's no one-way attack right now for Creamline. Magandang ball distribution. Thoughts on the other side. Too much heat on that ball. Let's check in with Alexis inside. Boom and Neil for our G Amazing setter when she went to Japan for her workshops when she was in the national team training pool. Her eyes and her art were open to admiring the Japanese style of volleyball, the Japanese volleyball system, as they give so much importance to technical foundation at such a young age, as young as three years old. What she loves more about it is all the knowledge of volleyball is shared across all provinces and cities of Japan, making sure young kids are given all the platforms in learning the sport. This is what she hopes for the Philippines as well, a platform nationwide where young girls can play volley and be nurtured all throughout. She's happy to make a difference, serving as an inspiration while she's playing here in the PVL for the younger girls. Download and subscribe the Filipinas Live app for 99 pesos. Let's go back to the game. A lot of those kids are here watching in the venue and thousands and thousands more. 
the Filipinas live app and through One Sports, One Sports Plus. Three all is the score. Boom Gonzalez, Neil Flores with you. Happy to have you with us for this winner take all match between Cream Line and our Jap Japanese visitors, Koshiki Blaze. Eliza will take pass. Still, <laughs> says, excuse me, coming through. At this rate, she will definitely get, get past her average of 19 points. Look at the margin of that she had to work with, Neil, between the antenna and that left hand of the blocker. Oshima Kyoka actually gave instructions to the blockers that Israel didn't in cross court. They thought Star lost, but if you close that cross court angle out, there is a strong angle for the line. Speaking of strong, Asaka, Takmaru coming on here in the second set. That one from the opposite side, tie the match at four all. Overpass. But saved by Creamline. That's just instincts. <laughs> Muscle memory. <laughs> A lot of finals appearances for Eliza Valdez. She's done that so many times in her career. They're going for their ninth championship. So together talking about Gia and Eliza two in college six here in the PBL looking for another one Five on. that's short I don't know how to do too low of a set for Gia de Guzman there a well rested set Domingo today 6-5. Oh, she babied it. She had the right idea. It was wide open. But she could not get the right clearance over the net. Now Brashiki is up by two points. First taste of the lead. between uh, Gia de Guzman and Seth Domingo. As long as you get your correct approach, iahalid na lang niya sa'yo yung bola para mapalo mo. Atienza takes it. Akani will send it to the other side. Chance to counter. Gemma. Dug up. Yukino rolls it. Send again. Another quick attack from the cool smashers. The middle blocker of Rashi and Blaze had her eyes on the left wing of Cream Line and didn't go up against San Domingo. That left Yukino all alone. And to my kitamo yung eight quick set and it's here to the right side of yeah. Cream Line. Correct. Back set. Pumreno. But that's too wide. So the lead goes back to Creamline, 8-7.
world class basketball action at home with Signal's FIBA World Cup pay per view offer for only 650 pesos. Watch all games from start to finish, no commercials, and in high definition, plus access to exclusive FIBA shows. Visit signal.tv for more details. The FIBA World Cup pay-per-view is also available for satellite subscribers. Eight. Eight is our score. That was uh, Angelica Panganiba na Homan alongside uh, Derek Andoy Ranay and uh, we also saw Miss Claudine Barreto who was actually a guest in the fan stream. Wow, yeah. Ooh. She had some time to take a step, but she wanted to reach, and uh, ball drops for the ninth point of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. to chase here, but not get to it. Dreamline taking a two-point lead, their biggest lead here at set number two of the finals. Sharp serve. It's a good serve. It's a good counter, though, from Akane Hiraoka. Good set there, of course, from Kiyoka. Akane starting to contribute also to help Five points for her. Makani averaging 7.4 here going into the finals. Good dig. Makani in the middle. That's a yeah. double. Double contact. All right, let's uh, find out what's going on in the Filipinas live app with Alexis Tinsai. Boom and Neil tonight, it's black versus pink, and as of 7.45 p.m., the PVL fans have voted and voiced out who they are rooting for. And with our cheer meter, it has been still dominantly pink. 83% have voted for Cream Line, 17% for Kurashiki Ablaze, and for today's question, who is going to be this match's MVP? Tamaru Osaka has received a 21% vote, and Eliza Valdez has a 79% vote. So for those who haven't voted, cast your votes now, and let's go to the timeout. Thank you, Alexis, for the update in our cheer meter and our question on the Filipinas Live app for the poll. Much more competitive set number two here, 10 all for Asaka Tamaru and the rest of Kurashiki Ablaze. Gemma going to her launch pad. They set up Asaka. She adjusts. Going high and long. Too long. The set was already far from the net. She tried to target the fingertips of the blockers in front of her. There was no spin on that hit. 11-10. Back to green line. 11 excellent sets already for Gia de Guzman. Good first ball. Oh, some trickery there from Kiyoka. Well, she is averaging 3.5 points a game. She had a game, but she had seven points, Neil. And she is the one of the taller settlers that we have here in the Invitational Conference. So it's very easy for her to identify these holes in the defense of the cream line. Two straight points. much tighter second set here. What has changed in your eyes, Neil? Well, they have settled down talking about the Japanese team. Kahit papano, they're getting a better ball distributions from the center. But right now, Oshima Kyoka just stepping up and getting attack points in for Kurashiki. Two points already 
from that dump ball. That was that game against uh, the BLDD high speed hitters where she scored seven points. Talking about Kyoka, and now a run here, a legitimate run. Biggest lead by Team Blaze. 14-11 on the strength of a six-run run, and guess who makes an appearance in this game? Santa Sai. Rashiki has been trying to break the reception pattern of the Cool Smashers. They have been successful in the past three rallies. Make that four. Ooh. That is inside for Akane. Sato, by the way, scored 10 points in that Friday match. And Coach Sherwin will challenge a ball in, ball out challenge this time. If this is unsuccessful, this will be a 7 1 run. If it's in. Another capacity crowd here at the Phil Sports Arena. We've had a ton of great games here, including nine five setters, Neil, that have entertained the Phil Sports Arena. And today is going to be the last day. When me and Neil opened the the PVL, we said that this was going to be a blur. Yeah, we weren't kidding. As it's an unsuccessful challenge, so that means seven one run. For team, for Quick shift in momentum here in the second set after that unsuccessful challenge. It's now a four point lead for Kurashikia Blaze. Overpass! And Asaka knows what to do! 16 11, Kurashikia Blaze! Your daily dose of UAP action and more. No season doesn't mean no action. Watch your favorite UAP games and shows on the UAP Park City channel this offseason. Get it now at a special rate on Plans 290 and Load 200 only here on Signal TV. And as we mentioned, we are packed all the way up to the nosebleed section here at the Phil Sports Arena. system on cream line up where they might exploit the Japanese team when they start committing these mis mistakes on the reception mm. that's why every time they're faced with a heavy server kailangan nila ang makaikot agad Kamaluga right in the middle Seven teams serving 12 Kyoka off system. That's it. What a turnaround here in the second set as we check in back with Alexis inside. 
Boom and Eli wanted to share to you that the Nabisaki mentioned to me how they usually play volleyball in Japan only every weekend. That is why their everyday game here in the PVL was a tough challenge that led them to being disciplined about their health and their everyday routines, making sure they give out their best until their very last game today. And since they are coming home to Japan tomorrow, they are sad of leaving because they will surely miss the Philippines. They're actually going mall hopping tomorrow, shopping in Podium and Robinson since they only have a limited time. Nevertheless, it's still group bonding and trying out Filipino food. Let's go to the timeout. After a shaky start by the Kurashiki Ablaze in that first set where they look disorganized, they look nervous. They have recovered here and have a seven point lead, 19 to 12. Colleen Bravo in attendance. Former cool smasher. Right. Just in, uh, Jerry Medina, that's Franny Reyes, that's Coach Marcus also. All in attendance here at the rocking Phil Sports Arena. Carlos. Oh, smart. Something she really has gotten so good at. a lot of hard hits from the side and Kurashiki at least but we know that she can also change things up from time to time Sato serves combination Thoughts keeps it up chance ball given to team of blaze back set oh that hits the antenna oh wait I think they're going to challenge this Smashers and then first before it hit the antenna that was based on their point of view. Correct. While Creamline thinks her attack hit the antenna right away. Uh, so Erlindo Yosebio told him what uh, there, the antenna. That was denied oh. because it was a wrong challenge card. Oh, okay. So the coaching staff making a little bit of a mistake there. So the challenge is denied. Asaka clearly disappointed with that call. Because she felt she was confident that it was off the blockers. The play moves on. Back set. Babawiba dug up. Thoughts Carlos over the block. Takahashi moved forward thinking that she was going to go for off speed again, but Carlos put some juice on that swing. And I'm gonna think Thoughts Carlos before she even goes for the approach and the jump. Tiniting na niya muna kung saan nakapuesto yung libero ng Kurashiki. 3-0 run, by the way. Make that 4-0 run. That, that play was spotted a mile away, Neil. With so much power. Looked like she hit a wall there. A bilis ng balik ng bola. Very difficult to cover. 4-0 run. Stopped. For Asaka Tamaru to serve. 20 14 is our score. Sorry, check that. 20 16 after the 4 0 run. <laughs> 20 serving 16 now. Good serve, but a good pick up there by Atienza. 
Yukino. Atienza will set. That's tight. Oh, that's right, actually. Takahashi back to Yukino. Yukino goes cross. Atienza was there again. Bogs all alone. The decision made by Gian de Guzman again in full display. That was the best decision that she could make. Eliza Valdez was still backtracking to her original position. And Tots Carlos was already ready to get that hit in. For Kurashiki, if you want uh, to defend Tots Carlos, you yes. need to establish the double dog at the very least. Seven was the biggest lead, Neil, of Kurashiki Ablaze here in this set. It is down to three. Takahashi will bump set to Yukino. That's going to go out. Four point lead. Targeting the right hand of Jia de Guzman there. Eliza! Vintage Valdez! Krasiki knows that San Domingo is always a threat in that quick attack. That's why Tinatawan talaga, you can see the double jump. It's a middle blocker in a Japanese team. Already too late. And even the player on the right pin wasn't able to position herself for that down the line attack of Eliza Valdez. Yukino, in a book you said, they'll go to the other side. And this is down to two. Here goes Greenline. Sabine holding up for the cool smashers. San Domingo again. Saki Tanabe is back in. As this lead is down to two, a high of seven earlier. Oh, that's tough. One point lead. Set was really close to the net. Couldn't do anything about that. Pressure now on our Japanese team. Our Japanese visitors. As Eliza and Cream Line are on an 8-2 run. Another miss set. From the other side, and we're all tied. Both teams just trying to get that edge with the service line a while ago. Kurashiki had a lot of aces. This time around, it's Eliza Valdez doing the damage from the line, making it very difficult for Oshima Kyoka to establish her own combination plays. It has been basic for Japan. They change setters now. Wako Umura comes in. For Kyoka Oshima, 21 all, 9 2 run. Back set. Oh, Japan stays ahead. Instant point from uh, that substitution. The downside, though, is that uh, Wako is a smaller yes. blocker compared to Oshima. That's why Oshima wanted to come back in, but Coach Hideo just sat. Her down again. Oh! What a spot! Wide open! <laughs> Tracking two! Does she have to go smart? For the one two! She is playing in her peak form. From the opening set, pa lang, you can see the control of Gia dun sa mga attackers niya. And right now, that's the first one to play, if I'm not mistaken. It's a good set by Walker to Akane Hiraoka. And now, Asaka Tawaru will come back as she gets into the front line for the finishing kick. Do they have it? They're ahead by two, but they will be on defense. Gia opens up to Gemma. A chance to counter. Marco will go to Asaka, who puts it away. Asaka just in time for the closing time here in the second set. Wako doing an excellent.
excellent job here in the dishing out these sets. Their attackers, ang ganda din ng pitek, eh. may kita mo walang skin whatsoever. Mm. Patay na patay yung bola. 24-22. Yuki Noyano. Napabilis tuloy. Napabilis tuloy yung sentence drama. And Gia just unfazed even with those 40 sets. Yeah. That was a box set to Gemma Galanza. Finding the right target. He just knows what to do. But still, another set point. One save. Lacko for gold. To the money maker. And we're all tied up in the finals. Rashikia plays. Bouncing back here in set number two. And it is Akita Asaka Tamaru. And her 11th point giving them that set point. On Filipinas Live. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. We're all tied up here in this winner-take-all matchup between the defending champions, Creamline Cool Smashers, and our visitors from Japan, Kurashiki Ablaze. 25-19 for Creamline, 25-23. Good chase at the end by Creamline as they cut into that seven-point lead and tied it all up at 21-all by Kurashiki strong in the clutch. It was about the heavy serving of both of these teams in set number two. But actually, Blaze had that uh, momentum uh, when they had a couple of service aces and the force to have a lot of shot passes. It's on cream line and that goes for the cool smashers as well. Yeah, Alisa Valdez trying her best to delay the attack of Kurashiki. Uh, they tried to come back, but just fell a little bit short in the end because it was a <laughs> back on the floor for Kurashiki. And, and also, but, uh, as we look at the numbers, and the numbers I'm sure will be self-explanatory by this point, Neil, we give credit to Hideo Suzuki. Pulled out uh, Kiyoka there, put in Wako, yeah. and Wako delivered on a couple of plays.
And even I remember seeing it, right? When they won the set point, he kind of tapped Kyoka after, and, you know, us just reading the body language, just saying, you know, you watched it, you saw it, get ready for the second set. But she will obviously start for the Kurashiki Ablaze team. Wako displayed impeccable control in the ball. And it's hard at that moment, I don't know. Very tense moment, and uh, Wako delivered. And now we are tied one all. One is looking for a title in foreign soil, and the other one looking for their seventh title in nine finals appearances. And by the way, for those catching us on One Sports, don't forget to stay tuned for Blow by Blow with Manny Pacquiao. That's coming right after the PVL finals. And by the way, speaking of, as we finish this uh, rally here with Kyoka Oshima finding a spot that shows some love and congratulate our Filipinas also. Yeah. We lost to Norway today, we will not make it to the knockout stages, but it has been a great two-year run for them with the qualifiers and the Asian Championships, a title in the AFF for the first time ever, and then the World Cup and the win too. What a run by the Filipinas. Congratulations. You, you made us proud and happy also. And a lot of the PBL players were rooting, obviously rooting for them. As we are back into this finals, it is 2-1 for Kurashiki. That's the 13th point of Todd's Carlos. There are two players in double digits for the Cool Smashers. Seb Domingo already has 10, followed by Gemma Galanza with 9. And as for Prashiki Ablaze, it's Asaka Tamaru, the only player in double digits with 12 points coming from all attacks. 3-1. Kurashiki. They've definitely settled down. Body language, the facial expressions, the game. Akai. Check that. That was Asaka. 3 1 is the score. They open up. Asaka again. <laughs> what an angle from Asaka getting that sharp cross to go and establishing a three point lead for Kurashiki. We got a timeout here for Cream Line. Not sure with Vanessa is concentrating on that on the pass. They have not been able to deliver to Gia de Guzman. That's always a priority when it's serving it on Kurashiki. Let's go to Alexis Tinsai right now. Boom and Neil, three-time MVP of the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Thoughts Carlos said that this finals game will be a test of patience and endurance. Dahil hindi po mapayag ang Japan na mapatayan ng bola sa galing ng kanilang depensa. And Cream Line so happy to be playing against a talented team like Kurashiki for they are not just training through the mind just by watching other teams. They are training their bodies by actually playing with them. Ika nila, bibilisan yung katawan para maging kasing mabilis ng Japan. Nilinisan ang galaw para maging kasing organized at disciplinado. These are the points of improvement Creamline is proud to work on. And if this will be their seventh title, it surely will be worth it. Get the Filipinas live app for 99 pesos and elevate this game experience. Back to you, Thank you, Thoughts Carlos, scoring your 14th point and then two straight points for Creamline on the attack error there. Bye, Tamaru. Hitting the antenna. Four three. Three serving four. That's a great play. We already saw that in their last game. Asaka Tamara can actually go for these slides, even if she is from uh, that left side. Didn't go straight. He's putting Saglet on the last moment. 5 3. Oshima Kyoka. Backs it to Thoughts. Sent back. Atienza gets a hand on it. Carlos again. 
Pancake. And a saga. Sorry, Saki Tanami. Converts into a point. There was also a net violation from Alliance of Abdes in the last sequence. Sina sabi ni Alexis at sina sabi ni Neil. All throughout this uh, semi-finals, the team of Blaze has just been incredible on defense. Walang baba ang bola ang biruan. That's really the Japanese style of uh, volleyball. Pagkaharap mo sila, kailangan talaga persistent ka when it comes to attacking the defense. For this, what an angle! We, got, we will catch the reaction of Gia right after this swing by Eliza. But <laughs> didn't get it on frame or in the frame. 4 6. That would be an illegal attack on Osama Kyoto. Overpass on the first ball by Asaka. Saved it. Easy over. Gia takes a look at the defense, goes to Valdez. Another angle. Eliza Valdez, five points for her, averaging 14.25 in the semifinals. 13.3 in those five games where she scored double figures. Oh, good reaction. Oh, but San Domingo saw the spot open and then take over the lead. Domingo with 11 points. Very busy, especially in the blocking department. She already has four kill blocks this game. Alam mo, Neil, mukhang gusto niya yung mga invitational finals. Yeah, I think she was a final MVP, MVP yeah. at one point. Of the invitational? It was the invitational when she did. She won the finals MVP. That was the peak for when we saw the start of the, of the peak, yeah. They had the connection nila ni Gia. But tuloy-tuloy na yung said from last year, from last year's invitation. Sorry. Seven all. Taking care of the slick spots. Gia doing it on her own with her knee pad. Seven all. Targeting Atienza. Set again. Popped up. Chance ball. Running gun. On cue. Technical time on and Green Line snatches the lead. First technical time on.
experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere, via Filipinas Live. Download the app now and subscribe for only 99 pesos a month. Back to the action here. And quick attack, or a fast attack from Brasigia Blaze to tie the match at eight all. What all is our situation here in this winner-take-all finals match between the two best teams in this invitation? That's a great pop-up this time by Asaka, but a free ball given. And Gia will go back to her, but she mishits the ball. She was uh, under the ball, definitely the trajectory. A lot of backspin in that hit of a set Domingo. Well, she was the one who got that first ball, so maybe she contributed to the delay niya on the approach. It's on the side of a blaze. Gemma Galanza is also in double digits with uh, 10 points, nine coming from attacks and uh, one coming from uh, that block. Ted Domingo did that play, as we mentioned, in that Friday match. But very in making up for lost time here in this game. Fast, very fast. They need more of that because every time they get to set up these uh, fast Face quick attack. Now, will it talaga your defense not green line? It was only Gia de Guzman, but the main person to guard the middle blocker of Kurashiki Ablaze was, uh, I mean, should be Banks Panaga. Sakitanabe. Eliza. Nice set, pa. And Panaga saves that possession. Maybe the baby beat that a little bit. The proper timing comes. Panaga got that defensive stop for the cool smashers. Uh, it was a messy sequence yeah. for both of these teams. The, core, the score is still uh, really close, 10 apiece. Saka receiving. Akane. Akane. A nice pull there. Getting really active now with 10 points. Now you can see the change of strategy of Oshima. Establishing better spacing from her attackers. Kanina hindi nila na kuha sa basic play. Ngayon, pinapaikot niya na yung attackers niya. Overpass again. Saved by Carlos. She gets it back. Panaga loses the joust to Asaka. Asaka getting uh, the timing right for that joust. Ooh, we're toe to toe here in the set number three. 12, serving 10. Alisa again is the target. That's gonna go out. Yukino Yano has been targeting Eliza for this on her serve. She's a very unique serve. Yeah, Neil. It's like a jump serve, but Tapos also pepreno. like a float, but a hybrid. Tapos pepreno at the peak of a, of that little leap of hers. Tots helping Eliza out there. Tots gets it back. High ball, free ball. Oh, that's too soft. Yeah. Not bad time, says Gemma Galanza. Gemma Galanza getting her second block point of this match. Let's get an update on our cheerleader from Alexis Tinsai. Boom and Neil, tonight it's winner take all. And as of 8.47 p.m., the PBL fans have voted and voiced out who they are rooting for. And with our cheer meter, it has still been dominantly pink. 82% have voted for Cream Line and 18% for Karashi Kia Blaze. And for today's question, who is going to be this match's MVP? Tamaru Asaka has received a 22% vote, and Eliza Valdez has a 78% vote. For those who haven't voted, cast your votes now on our live balls under the Filipinas Live app. What are your 
your thoughts on this very close set three. Oh. Carlos explodes for her 15th point. Thank you, Alexis. Keeping us updated on our poll and our cheerleader. Twelve, serving thirteen. Tit for tap, side out volleyball. Para cream line, that is only the third service error, which is a very yeah. good number considering this is halfway through the third set. Of the time. They had uh, three errors in set number one, right. four or five in set number two, but we're seeing a lot of shank passes from the cool smashers here in this third set. Kurashiki really targeting Eliza Valdez. And Oshima Kyoka again getting involved in the scoring. He's one of the more aggressive attacking type of setters here in the league. And because she's tall, she's got length. She is able to score. That is her fourth point of the match. She comes into the finals averaging 3.5. And remember, she only played four games. On that first game. Sent back, but that's out. Jeter Guzman is a really the milking the production of Pons Carlos every time he's in the front row. She has also taken responsibilities at specific space. She's been helping out in the reception. And uh, usually as an opposite spiker, hindi mo na trabaho yung kumuha ng first ball. Leave that to the outside hitters and everybody else. Asato comes in to serve. Good first ball there. Good save by Creamline. Big pass. And that will be an ablaze point, which brings us to 16 13. fans live from the Phil Sports Arena you are watching the PVL Invitational Conference Finals and I'd love to share to you that the Karashki Ablaze team has been enjoying their stay thoroughly here in the Philippines but before they even came here they already planned on doing some charity yesterday our Japanese friends visited Barangay 128 and Smoky Mountain Tondo Manila and gave away food toys and school supplies to kids in need they apparently heard about the Smoky Mountain through some Japanese bloggers and made it a point to provide a little help to the local community. Truly inspiring and heartwarming. What do you think, Boominiel? Thank you so much, oh, Alexis, yes. oh. for that uh, be real. And I actually saw that video on social media, and it was really heartwarming. Now we shift our focus back to the knockout. Uh, final matchup between Kurashiki Ablaze and the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Eliza Valdez getting a point, putting a stop to the run of the Japanese team. They're still trailing by uh, two points. Thoughts Carlos leading all scorers with uh, 15. Nagdigpa. Valdez is checked. Block touch. 
challenge. Well, I think they're going to deny this again. There's a window of opportunity for you to pull up uh, that challenge card. Malit ka lang a few seconds, your challenge will be denied. Yeah, they're going to award the point automatically to Dots Carlos. A confusion here. As this lead is down to one. Japan's got to refocus here. Oshima. Chance again for them as it's the ball back to them. They go to their number one scorer who delivers in between the blockers there in the Inaisara. Inaisara and Alaysa. Still the best option for Karashi Blaze. 17 points now for Asaka Tamaru. Toe to toe with Tots Carlos, 16. Kane Hiraoka has 10. So that's the second player in double digits for Krashke Blaze. Said <laughs> Domingo, just two points away. I mean, two points behind Tots Carlos. And she surprised herself in that sequence. Again, you know. Alam mo ganon din yung nangyari pala last year, if I remember correctly. King Whale beat. Green line in the semifinals, Kuba, and then in the finals. Overreaching violation called on San Domingo. The ball was still on the side of Kurashiki Ablaze, and she didn't give an opportunity to to set that up. Get a challenge. Which is allowed. 17 points by Asaka Tamaru, 16 for Tots Carlos. The other player in double figures is a girl we were talking about earlier, Akane Hiraoka, with 10 wild for Creamline. A couple more players in double figures. Domingo, as Neil mentioned, with 14, Galanza with 11. Set number three, the crucial swing set, as they call it. And nobody really have a clear advantage yet here in this set. One on. First set was a dominant set by the Greenland Pool Smashers. Second set was the bounce back set for Team Krasnaya Blaze. So whoever gets this one gets some major momentum. There's no touch. No net touch. That point. Go to Krasnaya. Peter Torres, Via General, and the Via General also enjoying this uh, matchup. The swipe saved. High chance ball here. Negrito chooses Mitch. Russia set back. Kyoka will try again. Scramble play. Confusion on both ends. Ashima opens up. Yano. No touch. Says Jocelyn. They're going to challenge Shabaniz for a block touch. 18-16. This it time could go they either right way. Medyo mataas yung clearance ng atake. Yukino, but there's also a probable chance that there was a check ball on one of the blockers of the cool smashers. Crucial point, though. 
because nobody has had a three-point lead in this set for these two teams. So, uh, uh, Japan has had a three-point lead earlier. And then Dreamline had a one-point lead. So if this is successful, this matches that lead again and at the crucial part of our game. By the way, congratulations again to Signal HD Spikers winning the bronze medal. They will be formally awarded a little later on. And a yes, a thumb. The right thumb of Michelle Gumabao. Sub will come back in for Coach Sherwin Meneses, Tons Carlos, Jede Guzman. As he tried to catch up with his three point deficit, that's Mafi Galanza, the sister of Gemma Galanza. UST. Center. Three point lead. Very crucial juncture of our match here. Delayed. Rebound. Overset. Oshima will set it up. Cross court. And it is Sayat Taniguchi. That was a purposive side. Great set from Oshima. Low pass to that right pin. Solid wrist action from Saya, keeping it simple to get a four point lead for Kurashiki. Nice block. Nice block. Nice attack. 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 Let's go. That's the second time out. A coach uh, Sherwin Manessa is here. The chance of let's go cream line from the predominantly cream line crowd here trying to get them back into this match as Asaka Tamaru and the rest of a blaze ahead by four. Too much of an angle there. Five point lead. It could have gone in pag hindi siya tumama dun sa tape ng net. Team feeling it. Five point lead, 21 16. Gia takes a look at the defense. Oh, and beautifully read by Yukino Yano. Rashiki a plays, uh, finally pulling away here in the third set. Getting uh, the number of a set to be good. Yukino, let me get one back. And Yukino again delays that one there, gives him a chance to counter. Atienza, a big pass to Gemma, rolls it to the other side. Bump set. Yano sent back. Oshima goes to the back. Gia opens up to Gemma, sent back. Long rally, and Sed finishes it. Sed to be good. 16 sweet points. Trying to salvage this set. Five points yeah. down. Biggest lead was six. Mihaya Hata comes in now for coach Hideo Suzuki. Finals winner take all. And Dreamline doesn't want to try to come back here. Shoots to the other side. It's too risky. Saya scored uh, the past three points for Kurashiki Ablaze. He looks up there, and he, not as easy as it looks on TV. Aladesu is waiting to be deployed here. Combination. That's a safe one. Or gets one back. Better execution for Gemma Galanza. She has a very unique arm swing. There you go. We've talked about it so many times. And she hides it.
even behind their head. The wind up, it's just, <laughs> just crazy. It's so unique, it's one of a kind. What a set. A oh, good decision here by Team Ablaze to set it up. Atienza though pops it up. Oh. That's gonna be way out. You heard the contacts in the ball. A miss hit by Galanza brings us the six set points by Team Kurashiki Ablaze for a two sets to one lead. They're gonna target Eliza. Yano usually does. So Tots helps her out there. Yano saves it, keeps it in play. So does Kyla. Oh. No chance. <laughs> when it's that fast. This was the tempo that they had in set number one. Might be a little too late because they had a lot of miscues on that first ball. What a beautiful toss. Carlos obliges. Set point save. But the number one score of the Invitational, scoring her 18 points, giving them a two sets to one lead. Neil Flores said earlier that Asaka Tamaru has to get to her average or even better for them to have a chance in this match. Well, she's at 18, she averages 23, and they're in the lead, two to one. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. 33 minutes is what it took for the Kurashigi plays to pull away from the Cream Line Cool Smashers. This was a tight game until we got to the midpoint. What made the difference? How were they able to separate in the end? Talking about our visitors from uh, Japan. It was still the serving of Kurashiki okay. Ablaze. They had a lot of chances to run their transition plays because of the shot passes of the Cool Smashers. And they figured it out. Uh, when they had a slow start in set number one, they immediately made the adjustments in set number two. And with that pesky defense, it really is frustrating for the Cool Smashers that they didn't convert into points. Si mga attacks nila. Right. They also had their fair share of errors. I think uh, this was a set na pinakamarami sila na commit na unforced errors based on my observation. But we'll check out the numbers sure later numbers, on. Yeah. It's now or never for the Pools Masters. They have a chance to take it all the way to the fifth frame. And for Kurashiki Ablaze, you can uh, pep on it. They will be giving a lot of balls to Asaka so that they could secure their first gold medal here in the Philippines. As expected, six unforced errors for the Cool Smashers against the two of Kurashiki Ablaze. Kurashiki uh, had uh, 17 attacks as well, so that was the slight difference. The positive thing about Creamline in that specific set was the three block points. And said Dominga, Domingo has been playing really well for the Cool Smashers to support the production of Tots Carlos. We're still waiting for Eliza Valdez right. to go on a Fino mode because right now she is only at six, six points. points. Very yeah. underwhelming. Averaging 14 a game. 
going into the finals. But you know that she will probably be starting to work here in sets four or five if they are able to extend. But the discipline, the defense, the simplicity of the volleyball of Krushigi uh, Ablaze kept them afloat and gave them a two sets to one lead. I, you know what, I really thought the opening, the, how different the opening was for the finals, really set them off differently yeah. also. I, I really thought it, I mean, they enjoyed it, they were laughing, but it, and then the crowd got really into it and really unsettled them in that first set. They, that was the most disorganized we've seen yeah. them <laughs> since they landed here in the Philippines. And disorganized is not a word that you associate with a team like that. And now they are going for the jugular here. Remember, they have not lost a match in this invitational. And as Neil pointed out, only three sets have been dropped. Make that four. Including uh, that uh, set loss in the opening frame. Three sets before the finals, rather, I should say. Positions already. They've been in different scenarios. They've been there and done that, is the expression. And if they want to win their seventh title, they will have to do it the hard way. There's a change in the starting unit of the Cool Smashers. Spike right. Carlos will be the outside hitter, and Michelle Gumapa will be the opposite hitter. Wow. What a switch by Coach Sherwin here. They pull back Eliza Valdez. Dots will go back to a position that she was playing in in a couple of tournaments. Well, Mitch. Hey! Asaka. Set back. Good coverage there. Asaka again. Good blocking by Panaga and Mitch. Carlos will score. Strong start here for the Cool Smashers. And when you take a look at the total overall performance of Tots Carlos, she has been a, a decent passer this game, so that will be a good change in the unit. Na yan. This is the starting lineup of Creamline when Eliza Valdez was injured. Asaka set back by Mitch. Tots Carlos unleashes! Apologizes to Kaoru Takahashi, who felt the brunt of that massive swing. We also have to commend the blocking of Michelle Gumabao. Yes. That is the biggest asset that she can bring to the table right yes. now. Nobody home. 4 1. Pump set to Asaka. Return to center! Michelle Gumbaba with a monster block against the best scorer of Ranchiki Ablaze. Salado, Salado! And the primal scream of Mitch Gumbaba. That will bounce out now. 5-2. Shima Kyoka. Oh, good reaction there by Padaga and Carlos. Kyoka chooses Asaka, Asaka. Mitch. What an impact off the bench for the three by three smashers as we go down at just inside. Boom and Neil, Gemma Galanta was all smiles when I asked she fell playing against Kurashiki Ablaze. Gemma says that Team Japan is so grounded individually. Nakapag pinagsama sama sila maganda ang laro nila dynamically. More than that, Gemma has a message to the Pinoy PVL fans who have been supporting Creamline through thick and thin. Salamat sa lahat na nanood at nakapunta sa amin. Manalo matalo. Promise namin sa inyo na bibigyan namin sila ng magandang laban. Download the Filipinas Live app and cast your votes now on who you think is going to be this match's MVP. Back to you, Boomin. 
Shamaru Osaka serves this ball. Chelo Colazzo with 11 points on 10 attacks. Rakuro. Saka Tamaru, 18 points. the time that you see a middle blocker yep. get near the 20 point mark i think she said omg so many times already in this game <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of games it was a cool smasher side that it was always the trio of Galanza, Valdez, and Carlos who got bulk of the attempts. But uh, yung mga times na nandyan si San Domingo, they really welcome that production. Like we said, she's also making up for lost time, not playing no Friday. She thinks there's a check. Jocelyn Del Rosario says no, but a challenge will be issued on the block touch. Said, was confident that there was. But Karashi Kiablaze was also confident no, that, that there was a no block touch. But the challenge card was put up already, so hindi na nila pwedeng bawiin yon. So, the question is, who's lying? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman, hindi naman. Local lang, local lang. <laughs> In some of these situations, sometimes they don't realize or you don't feel because of the action. So let's see if there was, or was it a miss hit? Oh. It was a miss hit. Yeah, it was uh, really a miss hit. Kita mo sa ano, mali talaga yung timing. So Japan back here in the mix of it, down two. Thoughts, Rumisi, Pumalo. many times have I said that this invitation on now that she's back in her you know in her position there as receiver and attacker Access to all the games on any screen or device. Signal TV has you covered from opening day up to the finals. Watch the world play in the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. Get it all here on Signal now. 8-5 is the score. Let's uh, update everybody on our premier matchup on the two gunslingers of the two teams. 21 points for Tots Carlos, 18 points for Asaka Tamaru. No surprise. Carlos averaging 19 coming into the finals. 18.8 in the pool face. So she's already over. Yeah, no receiving. Tots digging. There by Takahashi, and they get the point because of her role and her digging. Excellent dig there from the libero of Kurashi of Blaze. Mejo masakit pa sa likod. Awak sa likod ni. Look at this. Look at this. Rolling for the pickup. Defense to offense. Lead is two. Gemma asking for it. That's been their usual combination play for Gemma Galanza. Pagkatabinya si Seth Domingo. Galanza, 12 points for herself, averaging 
16 a game coming into the finals. Takashi again. Keanu goes over, way over. Trying to go on the blockers. He's gonna get that, that block touch. Aside from uh, the 18 points, she has also registered 10 digs and 11 excellent receptions. Talking about uh, Asaka Tamaru. And a complete game by their superstar. We're not even done yet. Easily picked up by Atienza. Mitch again is checked. Gia fakes to Gemma. Asaka will get it back. Off speed. De Guzman, wala nam take dito kay Gemma, pero nagkamali ng set. Open to Asaka. Ah, what a smart kill. Going high on the hands of Mitch and the Bangs. She got blocked a couple of times a while ago by Michelle Gumabao. So look at the in-game adjustments of Tamaro Asaka, hitting it higher compared to her previous contact point. Check it now! And look at the wrist action. Oh, it's beautiful. It is picture perfect. Wrist action and follow through. Very impressive. Asaka will answer. No check. This will be a challenge. Long touch challenge pulled up by the head coach of Kurashiki Ablaze. It's worth the challenge. Challenge. By Asaka Tamaru, who's got 19 points for herself. Looking for her 20th. Green. Well, they are trading by four points. Yep. And they still have two challenge opportunities, so might as well use one. Biggest lead of this set was... Biggest lead was of this set was four points. That's the biggest lead. But green line down. Two sets to one. Yep. Yep. Very good call by Asaka Tamaru. Keeping them alive here in this set. Waco will come in. Coach Hideo Suzuki. Substitution at the back of center. She has a full front line. They will be on offense. Solid. They get the point right back. That's their own version of that combination play from the middle. We saw a lot of hits from that play from Gemma Galanza. This time it was Asaka Tamaru. Very fast the defense of Line. Very close to her average now at 21 points.
Ang ganda ng blocker ng Kurashi kaya Blaze na palo na ni Todd Scarlet. So there was no way that uh, they would close out that cross-court angle. Uh, chance has been solid. Chance for Japan to counter. Wako releases to Saki. Oh, good save. Playable. Yukino. Takes man to Seb. Crowd is into it. Yano, smart play. Going behind the blockers. Very creative on that a soft hit. Yukino hopping and puffing. <laughs> Getting tired with all of these uh, long rallies. One of the things that I also noticed from uh, Kurashige Blaze, hindi sila masyadong mahilig mag set sa back row. It's always yeah. the front line. Right. And their middle blockers, they've been hitting a differential place. It's not the zero tempo right. talaga. Right, right, right. Down three. Anticipation pala ng palo ng hill. Gets the crowd going. There are certain players who do that. Eliza back in the day. Cece Rondina is like that. Gemma is like that too. Japan gets uh, one point back. Again, that was a differential play for Akane. Not a quick attack, but still very effective for Grashke players. Look at it, huh? Basic guy, the man. Gemma. Asaka. Takahashi will bump it to Yukino again. Not that time, says Gemma. Second ball put away. Doesn't work. Joust. Takahashi will set. Yano. The assistant coach. Sota Sato. Yano has been smart. Four point lead cut in half by Team Kurashiki Ablaze. Now only down two. Alan Acero of uh, Creamline side. Michelle Aulasso right in the middle. Of course, from Signal TV, our VP channels and content. Ricky Palu to her left. Ball decked out today. And Rachel Andakis and the rest of Signal HD waiting in the wings as this lead is back to three. Inside the packed Phil Sports Arena. More than 8,200 people in here and millions more watching over One Sports, One Sports Plus, and over Filipinas Live. We have the main view there, we have a multicam view there, and of course, we have our fan stream. And for those catching us on One Sports, speaking of, don't forget to stay tuned for Blow by Blow with Manny Pacquiao. That's coming right after the PVL finals. Abby Marano sticking around. 
is uh, Jelai Nunag of uh, the Signal HD Spikers. Very key addition to Signal, together, of course, with the re-addition of Jovi Gonzaga. Congratulations to them as they take home the bronze. They will be awarded formally after this game. In the meantime, Bernadette Pons pushes it too long. Dreamline has to take care of that, that two-point lead because sometimes they have that tendency to relax a bit when they have the lead. And you can do that against a team that can recover really fast. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it. Six points for her. Redirecting that ball. Also coming from Todd Scarlett, she has embraced that role as an outside hitter. Lahat ng responsibilities na kasama as she goes back to her natural position of OP in this conference. In the meantime, Sakatamaru continues to shine. That is now at her average 22.6. She is 22 points today. 22 points, rather. That's a very fast set to me. And that was a very simple hit from Mitch Gumaba. Perfect form. Wrist action was there. The target was uh, also there. Cross court. Three point lead. Waco continues to play. Asaka oh. continues to kill. <laughs> Let's check in with our cheer meter with Alexis Tinsai. Boom and Neil tonight. We're really close to the end. And as of 9.19 p.m., the PBL fans have voted and voiced out who they are rooting for. And with our cheer meter, 80% have voted for Creamline. And a 4% has increased for Team Japan, making Karashki Ablaze have a 20% vote. And for today's question, who is going to be this match's MVP? Tamaru Asaka has received a 24% vote. And Eliza Valdez with a 76% vote. For those who haven't voted, cast your votes now on our live polls under the Filipinas live app. What are your thoughts on this set for? Mitch Kamabo has something to say about that. He wants to join in the conversation as she comes off the bench to pound in four points. That lead was down to one deal before that attack. Same play for Gia de Guzman. In combination, Sagitna. And it's si Michelle Gumabo. It doesn't matter if she's in the starting You're unit. It right. doesn't matter yeah. if she comes in as a double sub. Just doesn't. And Malamang hindi masyado na scout din ano ng, ng team. Overpass. Oh. Costly overpass from the Bull Smashers. They have to remember that Gia de Guzman is still a back row player. She can only do so much. Right, right. Kumawit na talaga yung bola sa side ng Kurashiki Ablaze. Yeah, pinawi na niya yung kamay niya. Lead is down to one. The biggest lead was four here. As Momoka Yamashiro comes in to serve. Mitch. Floor touch. Are they going to challenge? Jocelyn Del Rosario says it hit the floor. We are tied at 19. Single block coverage from Yano Yukino. The pressure is on the side of the Cool Smashers. some pressure on the defending champions. That perfect conference is still alive for the Ablaze. Oh! 
specific rotation habang wala pa si Asaka sa ikot ng Kurashi kaya Blaze. Waco takes a look. Combination play. Good ball, they say. Waco, back to Saki. Tunio. <laughs> Pressure test for the cool smashers. Good challenge, but of course you gotta challenge that right away. But the point goes to Team Crushing anyway. 20 all. Cream line trying to fend off the foreigners. Dots gets it back. Bang! <laughs> Making her kiss. If they win this, to add on to her long list of MVPs already. It's go time for Todd Scar. Let's expect a barrage of attacks coming from uh, her side. But now she will rotate to the back row. It's up to Gemma Galanza and Seth Domingo to secure this set. That's good! Yukino! Douglas Mann stands still set. Oh, there's a touch at the net. By Kurashiki. They will not contest that call. Was it's that a Yeah, Katino Agan. Ah, okay. Now let's look at that. Oh, it's not her. Oh, it was the opposite hitter. Was it Saki? Saki, yeah. Good call. By Orlindo Eusebio. The lead is back to two. Bump set to Yukino. And here come the cool smashers. It was Gia de Guzman that time around getting a kill block against Yano Yukino. Streamline two points away from sending us to a fifth. Championship match. Dreamline trying to extend this into a fifth. Kurashiki Ablaze trying to come back. Thoughts has been lethal from the service area. Actually, she's been lethal from everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> from receiving <laughs> to serving to attacking. That's why she already has 24 big points here today. Yukino, set point, team line. Nowhere to go. Gia de Guzman is the shorter blocker, but when she gets the timing right, she really can get these defensive stops for the cool smashers. Oh, Kyla Jensen gets to it. Baco. Yukino again. Dug up. Kalanja. The Desmond chooses Gemma. Gemma again. Championship. 
BVL Invitational Conference. is also weighed by the Filipinas live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. Let me correct myself. I stand corrected, Neil. We are going into our 11th fifth setter of the PVL Invitational. Nandaya pa ako ng isa. But imagine that. In a short tournament, this whole month, we've already had 10 so far and we're going to another one. And just right, is a winner take all match. What a chase by uh, the team of plays at the end of that set. Dreamline with Fox Carlos serving so well, pulling it off. Yukina Yano has been uh, wiping her attack off the blockers, off the boots masters, but in that tail end of set number four, he was having a difficult time getting past the defense of Gia de Guzman. And hindi na nila napag-ikot yung best corner ni Laina Saka. That's why Dreamline got that set number four. Defense holding up for the boots masters, not just in the back four, but also in the net. And uh, right now, we will throw out all the statistics because it will be a race to 15. A winner take all between Dreamline and Kurashiki. A relatively clean game all yeah. throughout. No? The most that we've had here was six, six errors, six. if I'm not mistaken, on Dreamline, right? But, so that means it's this the teams are you know winning it on on attacks and uh, blocks and heavy serving and we're tied to all who has the momentum here should i ask that should i even ask that question but just for the sake of and why do they the, the streamline i suppose have the momentum here well first of all they have the support of the crowd yeah. here number two that was a set an emphatic set win especially yung last few points the cream line buhay na buhay yung defense nila sa backboard the confidence Definitely with them right now, but here in this fifth set, it's about starting out really strong. Off the bat, you go to your best scorers. Todd Scarlot set Domingo for the cool smashers. You go to Asaka for uh, Kurashiki Blaze. They woke up the crowd with that ending. And by the way, I saw Eliza Valdez, the captain. She, remember, she did not start set four. She is limping a bit, a little gimpy on her leg when they did the, uh, the the toss here for set number five. So that is a cause for concern. Eliza Valdez taken out by Coach Sherwin. So Fox goes back to open and Mitch is back at opposite. It is set number five on Filipinas Live. Takahashi! What a save. Thoughts again! This time, it paints the line. Fox Carlos is putting in a masterpiece. This is a chartered territory also for Kurashiki Ablaze. Dreamline is actually the first local team to challenge them into a five-setter match. That is a very good point. Never been pushed. Never lost. And now, trying to get through the defense. A hit out by Asaka, who, by the way, is now over her average of 24. On her way to another 
30 point output for the Japanese squad. They're this probably, will... They're probably gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> and this will feel like forever for a team like Enkurashiki. No room for mistakes. Thoughts Carlos varying her attack here. Dumping it to the donut hole. And feet stuck in mud for Team Kurashigi. Asaka! Set back by Atienza. One more for Tamaru! Oh boy! Squeezing it through the block. That was a thing of beauty. Finding the seam, hitting it hard. So we have the challenge system back, by the way, no wala pala siya for a while. So we just got informed that it's back and puti na lang dahil fifth set na. Mga ngailangan tayo. Two all, two all. Set again. She's been quiet for a while. 19 points for Seth Domingo as we go to our existence side. Boom and Neil, the Cream Line Cool Smashers, ended set four with a team prayer. Hand in hand, they asked for strength and prayed that if this win is for them, it's for them. And that no matter what happens, this is a test to their team strength and trust to each other. More on Coach Sherman's huddle, he reminded his girls to go nothing but all out for this last set of this last game here in the finals, encouraging Gemma to take flight and power through. But see who will take this victory the title home? Will it be Karashki Ablaze or our defending champions, the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos. Let's go back to the panel. Thank you very much, Alexis. 3 all is our score. Make that 4-3. Taking over are the Kurashiki ablaze here. Said Domingo just has to be careful when she already knows that she's underneath the ball. Puede hindi na force yung issue. She can just push that ball over or reset their counter-attack. Gemma, full force! She has been the silent operator for Dreamline in this game. 15 points for Gemma Galanza. We've been putting emphasis on the performances of Gia de Guzman, Toss Carlos, and San Domingo. Pero pahondi konte, may kita mo yung contribution si Gemma Galanza, also very crucial to the cause of the Cool Smashers. Averaging a shade under 16 coming into the finals, now at 15. Off the hands! You know, whatever happens in this fifth set. Kurashiki and Creamline has put on a show for the fans on this Sunday evening, no matter how this turns out. Takahashi takes it. Yano! Dug up by Tots. Set up. Mababa. Two-point lead by our visitors from Japan. And I think Coach Sherwin Seventh title kneel in nine championship appearances. And by the way, for those catching us on One Sports right now, don't forget to stay tuned for Blow by Blow with Manny Pacquiao. That's coming right up after this incredible PBL Finals. You were talking about the premier matchup between Tamaro and Carlos. In the semis, Tamaro had a 40% efficiency. Tots Carlos had 36. Right now, they're dead even at 47%. Wow. That will be a three point for the Cool Smashers. Great time off by Coach Sherwin. Who 
is going to be mentally tougher here in the fifth. Our 11th fifth set of the Invitational. That's gonna bounce out. <laughs> Two straight points by Greenland right after the time -up. Sigh of relief there from Jedi Gazmanji. Thought that it would still catch the line. Targeting Tamaru. Ooh. <laughs> Just beside uh, that sideline. Back to Tamaru. Yukino Biniten. Chance to counter for Cream Line. Balanza. Doug. Chance ball. Now Rainbow one. Who will Gia choose? We got our answer. Galanza with four points in this set. What an angle from Zepa Galanza. Two blockers already there. Please, to, please. to set up defense. No problem for Galanza. 3-0 run by Creamline off the timeout. Heavy serves by Gia. The ball goes back to them. 7-6 is the score. Yukino! Touch from behind. She's going to set it up. Gemma asking for it, but they go to Mitch. Back to Goroba. Back up. Long rally alert. Unusual error. That's why, that's why it looked nervous to me. And they had a chance to set up their net defense on uh, the next play, but they weren't able to put that ball over properly. Look at the reaction. It says it all. Now the lead is down to two. Let's quickly go to Alexis Tinsai. Woman Neal tonight, we're nearing the end of her Invitational Conference Finals. And as of 9.49 p.m., the PBL fans and her cheer meter has their trust in the Kareem Line Cool Smashers with 79% and a 5% has increased for Team Japan, making Karashki ablaze have a 21%. And for today's question, who is going to be this match's MVP? Tamaru Asaka has received a 25% vote, also a 0.1% increase and Eliza Valdez still has a 75% vote. Now Bumanil, how crazy is this set five? It's incredible, Alexis, and we all deserve it. This month has been crazy. And we're being treated by two Titans here. Yano off the hands. Wow, that breaks a four zero run by Green Line. He really needed that point. Dito sila sa rotation na to tumatagal pag wala si Asaka. It's good point. No Eliza Valdez looking gimpy earlier. Hopefully she's fine. In the meantime, Japan working hard on defense. Back row attack, which is a rarity yeah. for Kurashiki. Was that the first attack on that five attack? On that out of system play, but they didn't have a choice. Yeah, I know Yukino was still down on the floor. Two straight points by Team Kurashikiya plays to tie us all up again at 8 all. Quick 2 0 run. Mitch will make something out of this. They get it back. Back to Gumabao. Delayed by the rebound. Open. Yano. They take over the lead. Discipline of a Japanese volleyball getting all of the rebounds that they can, uh, setting up their attackers every chance that they can get. The 
seventh title is on the line. The team has been on the podium 12 straight conferences, Neil. Nine finals appearances. And they're looking for their seventh title. They lost to Petrogas in the finals. They lost to Cherry in the finals before. In the first ever professional conference. They don't want to lose today. They're down one and they get the ball back to Mitch. Japan keeping it up. Yano. Rejected. Timely monster block there from Jabba Galanza who has done it all here in the fifth set. 17 big points for the Laguna native. Make that 18, rather, after that kill block. Akane gets the point back. Akane has been quiet. Now she finally scores her 13th point. Theoretically, it should be easier for the cool smashers to set up their defense on that side of the court. Because it's not that fast, the set of Oshima Kyoka. And uh, right now, Asaka has uh, finally entered the front line, front line uh, for Kurashiki Ablaze. Mitch in the middle! Paints the line! Now it's going to be a duel between Tons Carlos and Amaru Asaka I'm in the front row. For it. Let's go, Neil. I'm here for it. <laughs> the premier matchup. We set the stage for it. Why not finish up with it? Who will the confetti fall for tonight? <laughs> Overpass, but it's back with Japan. Tamaru is rejected! Line, getting more kill blocks compared to Kurashi Gia Blaze. Asaka wanted to go down the line, pero sobrang late lang nung gap between the right hand of Michelle Gumabao and that antenna. Akane gets it back. Tied again at 11 all. Five sets of beautiful championship volleyball. Tense moments here at the Phil Sports. Thoughts receiving. Thoughts. Perfect execution of a perfect first ball. Ice in her veins. Thoughts Carlos with the hammer up high down hard. Dreamline four points away. Make that three points away from the championship. Akane gets it back. Asaka rather, the model. 12 point for them. 28 for Asaka Tamaru, a girl who scored 29 and 30 here in the conference, averaging 23 a game. And they needed every single of that 28. There are three attackers in the front line for Kurashiki Ablaze. Only two for Cream Line. Chia. Activating Seth Domingo. She's putting on a clinic right now, the Guzman is. And that's just a calculated risk. She knows that she has built a smooth connection with Seth Domingo throughout this game. And now a heavy serve coming the way of Tox Carlos. Perfect first ball. They get the point back. 13 all. Point after point, exchange after exchange. Side out volleyball. Top set. To Gal Galanza. Chance for Japan to take the lead. Back set. Oh. Nobody. Championship point for Kurashi Gilbreeze. What a swing from Asaki. It was a, a good ball from uh, Atienza, that one handed yeah. save. 
one hat dig. But there was a miscue between Gemma Galanza and Todd Scarlett. Hindi na kain ng dihan kung sino kukuha ng separate ball. And now, Karachi Kempleys will get their first match point on foreign soil. That's in! That's in! is praying, hoping and praying that that would be an unsuccessful challenge on the side of the cool smashers. Katamaru has her praying hands on. They're all praying. 14-13. Championship point. defending champions winning it in five sets and that is the confirmation of the win 1925 25 23 25 19 20 25 15 13 relive this game and all pbl games and stories anytime anywhere on the filipinas live app download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month we will award our winners when we come back here at the Phil Sports Arena.
Check, check. Check, check, check. Mic test. One, two, three. Check. One, two, three. Check, check, check. Test, 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 test. Test, test, test. Check one two three. Check 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 check. One minute. <laughs> Welcome back inside the Phil Sports Arena for the conclusion of the 2023 Premier Volleyball League Invitational Conference. It has been a great month of great and intense volleyball, which just ended in an epic five-set championship, winner-take-all match. Uh, this whole month, we've been uh, witness and that we've experienced Great volleyball, especially from our foreign guest teams that have raised the bar for our local clubs. And now, before we get to all that we have to get through here tonight at the Phil Sports Arena, we welcome our audience on Pilipinas Live. We thank our more than 8,200 strong here inside the Phil Sports Arena as we now get to award our all-premier team for the Invitational Conference. And we would like to thank our presenters for being with us tonight. We begin, of course, with Ms. Jenna G. Olaso, Signal TV, FVP, and head for channels and content. Also, Mr. Reginald D. Lorque, head channel management, programming, and ops. Mr. Cito Mar Marcelino, the Director of Sports Vision Management Group, Incorporated. Mr. Tony Boy Liao, Tournament Director of the PVL. And last but not the least, Mr. Ricky Palu, the President of your Premier Volleyball League. Now it's time to get to the cream of the crop in the league of the best volleyball players of the country. We have a select few who rose all the way to the top. And these are the players who elevated their games, who we dream we would be in a team together. It is time to name the Invitational Conference Premier Team. And first up is our best setter. The engine or the heart of any team, of course, is the setter. And to present our best setter is Jose Christopher Kadua, head of HR, admin, and facilities for Signal TV. The PVL Invitational Conference best setter is from the Signal HD Spikers, Jell Cayuda. Jell Cayuda is now 
a two-time best setter as a professional here in the PVL Invitational Conference. She bags the award as the first member of our premier team. Our next award goes to the best outside spiker. And to present the first uh, of our best outside spikers is our coach from our visiting team from Japan, Hideo Suzuki of the Kurashiki Ablaze. Best outside spiker, Asaka Tamaru! A force like no other, Asaka Tamaru has blazed through opposing de defenses this conference, averaging almost 23 points per game in the semifinals and scoring 29 big ones tonight. Congratulations, our first best outside spiker, Asaka Tamaru. Now we crown another best outside spiker and to present this award is the team manager of Creamline, Alan Acero. And the Invitational Conference Best outside spiker is Eliza Fuentes. The comeback conference for Eliza Valdez. Our best outside spiker award. Welcome back to the Phenom. Now for our middle blockers, and to present the first of our two middle blocker awards is Miss Holly Reyes, the team manager of F2 Logistics. First best middle blocker, the award goes to Majoy Baron. What a comeback conference for Majoy Baron. Playing her best conference as a pro here in the Invitationals. This is her first BVL Best Middle Blocker Award. And now for our second best middle blocker and to present the award, we welcome back Mr. Alan Acero, team manager of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And completing our set of best middle blockers is Celine Domingo. Last year's finals MVP, she has blossomed into one of the most productive middle blockers in the league since joining Creamline in 2019. Now she gets her first ever PVL Best Middle Blocker trophy. gentlemen for the big gun the best opposite spiker and back to present the award mr alan acero team manager of cream line the best opposite spiker goes to tots carlos the three-time mvp 
since joining Creamline in 2021 has been nothing but short of amazing. Last conference, she was one of our best outside spikers. Now in the Invitational Conference, she bags her fourth PVL Best Opposite Spiker Trophy. Congratulations, Tots Carlos! And lastly, we award the Invitational Conference Best Libero. And presenting our award is the team manager of PLDT, Mr. Baji Del Rosario. Your 2023 Invitational Conference Best Libero, Kat Arado! And now you can call her the three-time PVL Best Libero. Our top receiver and second best digger after the pool phase. Congratulations, Kat Arado. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to award the conference MVP. And here to present our MVP award. To our winner for today, our conference MVP is Cess Molina. <laughs> Presenting the award, Mr. Jose Christopher Cadua. Head of HR Admin and Facilities for Signal TV. Mr. Tony Boyliao is right there. Ms. Shena Olaso is also there, our Signal TV FVP. And look, head of Channels and Content Management. Congratulations, Cess Molina from the Signal HD Spikers. We would like to hear a few words from Cess Molina, please. Um, good evening po sa lahat. Sorry, naiyak po ako. This is my first MVP. So, To, to thank everyone behind this award, Jempre, my Signal family, mga teammates ko, the coaches, and sa lahat po na PBL fans na nanonood ngayon, uh, maraming maraming salamat po for supporting us sa buong liga, and maraming maraming salamat po sa mga boss namin. Thank you po. Congratulations, Cess Molina, your conference MVP. And again, thank you to Mr. Reginald T. Lorge, Ms. Shena G. Olaso, Mr. Sito Martellino, Mr. Tony Boy Liao, and Mr. Ricky Palu for awarding the PVL Invitational Conference Premier Team.
Welcome back inside the Phil Sports Arena as we conclude uh, the last day of the PVL Invitational 2023. Now we've done the, in the individual awards. We've seen the all premier team here in your premier volleyball league. Now it is time to award the teams that have excelled here in this conference. And we begin, of course, with our bronze medalists. They were tough. They were relentless. And we welcome back to the podium your bronze medalists, the Signal HD Spikers. Led by team captain Rachel Dakis. Claudine Troncoso, Rose Doria, Vanny Gandler, the MVP Cesc Molina, Jovelyn Gonzaga, Bia General, Tony Basas, Jacqueline Acuna, Giselle C, Jack Janela, Ria Meneses, Angela Lunag, your best setter, Jel Cayuna, Jerry Malabanan, and Jen Kasugod. Team manager, Ken Ukong, Head coach Shaq De Los Santos, coaches Rico De Guzman and Meg Biliran. Your bronze medalists for your invitational conference, the six. We will award our first runners up. Congratulations to the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Fighting valiantly this conference, this tight knit group came together and played their hearts out for one of their leaders. Their ninth finals appearance. 12 straight conferences on the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, your cream line cool smashers led by team captain Eliza Valdez, Kyle De Grito, Risa Sato, Jeanette Panaga, Bernadette Pons, Michelle Gumabao, Ella De Jesus, Lori Bernardo, Pao Soriano, Kyla Atienza, Gia de Guzman, Seth Domingo, Riza Mandapa, Rose Vargas, Todd Carlos, Gemma Galanza, and Phil Cayetano. Team manager Alan Acero with head coach Sherwin Meneses and coaches Carlos Santos and Buck Morado. Ladies and gentlemen, your first runners up. The Cream Line Cool Smashers! of the 2023 PVL Invitational Conference. Congratulations to the gold medalists, Kurashiki Ablaze!
congratulations to our visitors from Japan. Undefeated in the conference with team captain Washima Kyoka, Omura Wako, Taniguchi Saya, Tanida Sayaka, Yamashiro Momoka, Takahashi Kaoru, Yano Yukino, Hiroka Kane, Kawamura Miho, Tamaru Asaka, Tanabe Saki, Hata Mihaya, Fujiwara Reina, Watanabe Ayane, Fujimura Nana, Takahasu Sachio, and Okuda Honoka. With head coach Hideo Suzuki. Your gold medalists, your champions, the Kurashiki Ablaze! our finals MVP award. PVL president, Mr. Ricky Palu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your finals MVP is... And again, thank you to our presenters, Mr. Reginald T. Lorque, Ms. Shena G. Olasso, Mr. Sito Martellino, Mr. Tony Boy Liao, and Mr. Ricky Palu for joining us for the awarding. Congratulations to the Signal HD Spikers, your Creamline Cool Smashers, and Kurashiki Ablaze! Congratulations once again to our individual awardees, our all premier team, and of course, our bronze medalists, our silver medalists, and our gold medalists. Congratulations. What a finals, an epic finals, and what a tournament. Alexis, I will begin with you. It has been a beautiful, crazy month for all of us and for all of them. Definitely boom. I must say this has been a speedy one, but is it is indeed an eventful one. We open the doors to Team Japan, to Karashiki Ablaze, and they've showed us what Japanese volleyball is. It's indeed a discipline, unwavering passion, and of course, determination. And we are so happy that they came here with us to play against the Creamline Cool Smashers. And Neil. It culminates with an epic five-setter for all the fans, more than 8,200 here at the Phil Sports Arena and millions more watching. What can you say about the finals? What can you say about the champions? It was really intense. We just want to show our appreciation for our guests from Vietnam, Kin Bak Bak Nin, and our champions, Kurashiki Ablaze, for accepting the invitation to play here in the Philippines. Malaking tulong to for us to really elevate Philippine volleyball. And we hope it won't be the last time we see them. And you guys, thank you very much for joining us all month long for what has been an incredible 2023 Premier Volleyball League. Invitation
Invitational Conference in behalf of all our production technical crew and all our friends and colleagues here in the PVL. My name is Boom Gonzalez. Thank you, and we'll see you next conference.